Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to the Road Warrior. Just watching traffic here. It's a, I had a feeling it's one of those kind of days. Um, it, it's been a weird couple of two, three days. As I've always said before, I don't come out every weekend to shoot a new Road Warrior. Sometimes I may, back in the day pre-COVID, I was on the road sometimes. Last year, almost every other weekend, we were in Indiana, so it wasn't really, uh, uh, it wasn't easy to shoot Road Warrior. So I always shoot some in advance. But I always make a note to myself when I know I've got to have one for a Sunday, like today, and I've got to go out and shoot one. Well, we've been dodging weather for the last three or four days. And that's part of the reason I shoot them in bulk, three or four at a time, only because you never know what the weather's going to be. I'll be honest with you, after watching Hurricane Laura come up through the Gulf, I never expected to be dealing with Hurricane Laura weather, or Tropical Storm Laura weather, a couple of days later. But here we are, and we've been having rain off and on, literally, Friday. Started early Friday, and then part Saturday, and then we're expecting some today. Haven't seen any yet. Got a little bit of rain overnight. Had a quick burst overnight, about 1.30, 2 o'clock this morning. But I'm sitting there just looking at the skies ahead, and well, they told us to expect the rain this afternoon. I've talked before about how hurricanes, tornadoes, the extreme weather conditions are something I've watched for years. My father, while he never loved television weather, did it, and that was fine. It was no big deal. He loved the TV sports, but I ended up loving the weather, and I was fascinated by weather and often thought if I'd been smart enough, I would have gone to meteorological school. But even when I was in radio during the years, I was always one of the guys on staff who watched the weather and was pretty good at explaining what was going on with the weather and just being able to read the maps and all that kind of stuff. So I always watch with interest when it comes to what's going on with the weather. Well, I've been watching the hurricane number one because you always got to watch hurricanes for my family in Florida, some on the Gulf Coast, some on the Atlantic Coast, some smack dab in the middle of the state. So I get hit with Florida hurricanes all the time. When I watch hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico, when they're looking at Texas, friends in Texas, I'm always watching to make sure they're safe. But for me, more importantly, making sure my favorite city in the world, New Orleans, is safe. And I've often thought about moving to New Orleans Never really had the chance in radio. Don't know if I wanted to work in radio in New Orleans. I never felt it was a great radio town for what I did. There's a good country station there, but just never felt the right fit. And it's a place I would love to retire to, I'd love to go to. But I'll be honest with you, after Hurricane Katrina, I'm not sure I want to. But I'm always watching for New Orleans. I've got a lot of online friends in New Orleans in the art world. Um, I just Again, I have this affinity for New Orleans that I don't understand why, I don't know why, but I love it so much, and so I'm always watching the weather. And of course, sitting where it does, below sea level in the Gulf, it's always in the way of hurricanes. It's been weird how the hurricanes over the last few years have really pummeled the Gulf more than they've pummeled the Atlantic Ocean. Back when I was in radio, back in the 1980s, when I lived in Virginia Beach, we had a lot of hurricanes coming up the East Coast. And once every couple of years, a big one would come up the East Coast. So the Atlantic was always getting hit with them. Now, while yes, there are some in the Atlantic and Florida, they seem to peter out by the time they hit North Carolina, Virginia, and those areas. Not too many of them as we had before. Uh, it, it's just it's amazing watching the weather. And again, now we've already got some starting out in the Atlantic Ocean, south of Puerto Rico, south of the Virgin Islands, I think, by now. The power of weather, the damage it can do, Praying for the folks in, in Texas who, well, sadly, got pummeled, but got very lucky because it could have been a whole lot worse. And, well, I'm just dodging the rain today. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us, home to all the episodes. Also have them up on YouTube, have them up on Facebook. As we always say, don't care where you watch. Love the fact that you do, and especially love it when you tell a friend. Have a good one. Be safe. Stay indoors. Take care.